Cricut users waited for years for font kerning in Design Space. In May of 2021, Cricut finally released a desktop update that offered it. It took until the following November for Design Space on iOS to have current fonts. Finally, in April of 2022, Design Space for Android rolled out an update that includes current fonts and so much more. Stick around to see all the new features. This is Hanks, Maker Mentor. My name is Ruth, and I'm here to help you learn how to make. This update is version 5.0.6, you can check in the menu of the Design Space app or in your Play Store or wherever you get your apps to see if you're using this latest version or if you need to update. The release notes on Cricut.com indicate that the app will be cleaner, easier, and more stable, and that new features and fixes can be released regularly. If you wanna read it all, click on the link I've included in the description. It's supposed to be faster, I'll let you know if I agree at the end. The project flow or the process of how you make your project is the same, but they've changed the navigation to match iOS. Now, when you wanna open the menu, like checking for which version you're on, it's these three lines up here at the top left corner, sometimes called a hamburger menu. The upper right corner is also simplified. From the home screen, you have search and canvas. When you're on the canvas and want to go back to the home screen, you'll click this arrow but I generally recommend saving first. My least favorite of the navigation update, we no longer have the project category drop-down menu. To access the categories, including the My Projects category, you'll click on this filter button. The same categories are here, but it's taken me a while to get used to this on my iPad. This update also changed the icons, so they now match the iOS and desktop versions which will be really helpful if you're following along with a tutorial on a different system. Current fonts are not the only change to text. This update also includes spell check, right to left text support on Canvas, diacritics and ligature support, language filters, and inline text editing. So no more little text box that pops up when you want to adjust what you typed. To access the current fonts, you'll select the text box on your screen click on the edit button, and then click here where it says font name. The default is still Cricut Sans font. It will bring up all the fonts, Cricut fonts, as well as the fonts that are installed on your device. We're gonna click on the filter menu here at the top right. Then we want to expand the characteristics submenu and select current fonts. This is also where you can adjust the language of your font, by turning the toggle on, and then to change the language, click where it says language, for me it's English, and it'll bring up other choices that I can filter by. I'm turning my language filter off, but I am going to search for just system fonts. And these should all come out with nice spacing. If we check it with like this dancing script, you'll see it looks like a normal cursive font instead of having extremely weird spacing. Make It now brings you to a prepare screen before showing you the normal preview screen. If you're using a Joy, Maker 3, or Explore 3 and are confused because your screen doesn't look the same, after you click Make It, you'll select the material load type before seeing the prepare screen. On the prepare screen, you can adjust the number of project copies, the size of your materials. Here you'll see my Joy on the left and my Explore Air 2 on the right. The options are based off of the size of your design and the machine you're using. Your final option is to mirror your design. Then when you click Continue, you'll see the traditional preview screen. You can move the pieces of your design to make better use of the material. When you're ready, you'll click Continue, connect to your machine, and then select your material, load it, and click Go, allowing you to finish your project just like I finished telling you what is included in this update. Please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell icon so you're notified when I release new Cricut videos every week with occasional bonus videos. So, is the updated app faster or was it the magic of video editing? I don't have precise numbers, but I think it is faster. I used to hate working on Design Space on my phone because of how slow it was. This might help change my mind. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.